Sarah? You okay? I heard you crying, you know. I'm sorry. You no need to apologise. I'm not gonna go at you. You're bound to be upset, aren't you? What? You just seem so young and... and I feel so old. You're not regretting it already, are you? Won't make any difference anyway. Not after last night. I know I said last night that your mum was staying at Cathy's for the night, but, well, she's gone, your mum's gone. What sort of gone? She's not dead. No, 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 don't be silly, nothing like that. What I mean is, she's left, she's, she's left me. Why? What have you said? Nothing. Well, you must have done something to make her leave. Is it us? Of course it's not you. Well, it's you, then. <sighs> she hasn't gone by herself. Has she gone with Richie? Eh? What makes you say that? I had a shoved in his room before. All his stuff had gone. I bet he's just dropped off at the Reynolds or something. Just got talked to her dad. <sighs> they went together. They planned it. This is too stupid. I'll put to my room. Don't you get what he's trying to tell you? They've gone together. So you keep saying? Like in a couple, you thick it. You live in a fancy world, you liar. Mum's a liar. And that smarmy get Richie. His mum having a thing with him? Well, she can't. Can we new the lease after three months? I thought it was a start. Hardly. Well, we could have had the place in Robblesfield if you had to change... What? Nothing. Look, we just took too long deciding. It's our first morning together, Sarah. Let's not spoil it. I've left my husband and my children for a 19-year-old. We've set up shop in the middle of the village. Can it get much worse? What? I feel like I'm being told off. Yeah, well, you are. Look, I know I shouldn't laugh, Sarah, but it's quite funny when you think about it. I'm going to need a bit more support than this, Richie. What the hell are we going to do? We could always go back to bed. Richie made out like he was my mate, and all the time he was doing it with her. Robert, I know you're upset, but don't push it, eh? Well, what's everyone going to think? Her going on like some stupid little slapper. It's totally sick. Pack it in. Why? It's true, isn't it? I can't believe it. Who the hell does she think she is? She's dead old, my mum. How's Victoria gonna feel when she finds out that her mum would rather live with some divvy of a lad than her? I wish Richie were dead. I've got loads of good stuff going on at the moment and all. Oh, can you only think of yourself? It's not my fault she left. You're the one who treated her like muck. Look, we're supposed to stick together. What am I gonna say to folk? Nothing. There's no need to say anything to anybody outside the family, not for the time being. Well, if this gets out, I'm not going back to school. I'd rather stay and be a farmer. It's that bad. You can be right, bro. I must say, uh, you're taking all this rather calmly. I do hear a little bit. Well, you don't have to, Andy. She made it out like everything was OK, and it wasn't. She must have been seeing him for ages. In the house, in the bar. Don't, Andy. Why did you let her go? Why didn't you stop her? Stockings? Do you mind? I'm standing as counsellor, not a lap dancer. You'd like to do what? Which paper did you say you were from? Very funny. Well, let me tell you something. As soon as I am elected, I will be bringing back the birch for perverts like you. All right, there's something else you wouldn't enjoy. Mrs Windsor, you look as white as a sheet. Well, it's true what they say, Emily. Politics. It is a filthy business. And the more this goes on, the more I can identify with poor Jackie Onassis. Mind the shop. She's got herself in a terrible mess. I think she was as shocked last night as I was. 
You know, she wasn't grinning when she walked out. What are you trying to stick up for her for? I'm not. Believe you and me, son. I've had some terrible thoughts about the pair of them. I know you've been let down in the past. If anything goes wrong, I get scared. Well, I swear to you, Andy, you are my son. I... I can't into a piece of paper. No, in every way. In my heart. So whatever, whatever happens between me and Sarah is separate. But I would do anything for you. I would die for you. I'm not trying to be selfish, but I can't help it. I know, I know. Daddy, Robert's crying. Oh. Well, he's, he's just a bit upset, though. What's the matter with Andy? Nothing. I've just got some bad news. What's happened? Pretty Spears has had to cancel a tour. Oh, that's not fair. Well, it's 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 just a little cold. I'm I'm sure it'll be fine. No, you were having a kick about with the lads in the garden. Uh huh. So this is all about me having thunder thighs. That's what you fell for. Don't be daft. It wasn't just that. <laughs> I'm warning you. No, it's because you were confident. You didn't let what you might look like get in the way of having a laugh. That's because maybe when you get to my age... You pack it in with the age thing. Oh, well, of course, there's nothing to worry about there. I'm sure it'll go completely unnoticed. I'll tell you what it does for you, Sarah. It makes you OK with yourself. You've had experiences and you've got opinions and you're not afraid to voice them. That's terrifying to most men. I think it's a turn on myself. What starts off as sparky opinions ends up sounding like nagging. How do you mean? You know, the really hard thing is, is trying to remember what got you going in the first place. It won't be like that for us. How do you know? Because I do. Richie, what's the longest relationship you've ever had? Uh, this one. Oh, my God. What have I done? I've left my children. What am I going to do? You're going to stay here with me? No, I can't. Oh, come on, Sarah. I've made a stupid mistake. I must be completely mad. I've got to go back. No, you haven't. Richie, what are people going to say to us? My children are going to hate me. I can't bear it, Richie. What's Jack going to be saying to them? I've got to go back. I'll tell them I'm sorry. Sarah, what about us? Well, we can plan it differently. Find somewhere for us and the kids. You're talking rubbish. Oh, shut up, Richie! Look, you've already said yourself it's too late. Do you think Jack's going to have you back now? I honestly thought this is what you wanted. So did I. Oh, look, I know you can only think about what you've lost. Don't. What you think you've lost. Sarah, you left your husband. You left a dead marriage. Victoria is only six years old. How's she ever going to understand? Even if Jack is fair with the kids, and there's no guaranteeing that he will be. He's not a vindictive bloke. You're so confident in everything, Richie. You don't even know him. I lived with him for six months. Yeah, and three of those months you were having an affair with his wife. You shouldn't have told him last night. Oh, I knew that would come in. I said I'd tell him. Yeah, for weeks, and you didn't. It was just too brutal to walk out like that. And what do you think it's been like for me? Months of waiting and waiting, watching you go through that sham of a marriage, while I was grateful for five minutes in the barn or the office. It wasn't a game to me, Sarah. Every time he touched you, I wanted to punch his lights out. He doesn't love you anymore. I do. You're 19 years old, Richie. You've got your whole life ahead of you. Are you always this patronising? Jack's 52. You can't begin to understand what he's feeling. He's got to start again. Well, if he is lucky enough to find someone, maybe he'll treat him with a bit more care and attention than he did you. 
I shouldn't even have to be telling you this, Sarah. You know how unhappy you were. Where are you going? I'm off to the shop to get some stuff, then I'm off to work. No, you can't. Not today. I've got to. I'm not living on a desert island here, Sarah. Whether you stay or go, I've still got to pay the rent on this place. I can't just chop up to the farm and say, sorry, Jack. I'm not going to do that. Good. Now you're talking sense. Do you think Jack did this much hand-wringing when he was knocking Rachel Hughes off? I don't mind, honest. Maybe your mother should have left home sooner. Might have got more work out of you. Don't start on me. I'm only trying to be funny. Yeah, well, don't give up the day job. Anyway, I did loads on the farm while she was in hospital. Yeah, well, it'll be harder this time. I'm lucky she just didn't up and off during Lammy. Sometimes I hate it here. So I've gathered. Sometimes I think we should just sell up and go live in Spain with my gran. Yeah, well, I don't think it'd be very practical. Farming's not worth a lot just now. Well, it's sell to a farmer. Imagine wouldn't you get for somebody to build one of them posh houses in the States? Yeah, and what would I do in Spain? No, because you'd be loaded. Yeah, I'd have all that quality time to myself to think about what a complete pig's ear I've made in me life. I know this whole thing's an embarrassment to you, son. Why do people bother getting married in the first place? I don't know. Can't remember. Do you think Mum's doing this to get back at you? Because you did the dirty on her? Well, you'd have to ask her that. No way. Don't even want to see her. <sighs> you could, though. Don't think she'd want to see me. Got more important things on her mind. Don't say that! You can at least say you'll try. Have you any idea how bad I feel? I feel betrayed and useless and sick to the stomach. And it's taking all the effort I've got to put one foot in front of the other. What do you want me to do? I don't know. I'm sorry. But she forgave you, that's all I'm saying. It's not like being at school, you know, where you hate someone one day and your best mate's the next. She doesn't even love me anymore. Who cares? Loads of people don't love each other. Why do we have to suffer it? Oh, get back into the house. You're neither use nor flaming ornament. I hate you, you bad-tempered get. I hate you. Join the club. I'm already the president. Right, come here, you little... Oh, no, sorry, I didn't mean it. Yeah, oh, come on. Got you oh, now, eh? No. Big oh, gob. Hey, how do you feel about this? Oh, um, <laughs> no, our scrubbing's not fair. That's not on. Oh, does it oh. hurt you? You do it. Come on, give us a cuddle. <laughs> Give us a cuddle, come on. I'm come going on. back inside. Come give us a cuddle. Yeah. <laughs> and don't tell Andy you got me on, I'll never forgive you. <laughs> the fair were ever so lovely. So why won't you out, Mrs Windsor? I couldn't bear to see Pollard smarming after votes. Anyway, I was busy here working on my policies, so I thought I'd better get myself organised. I'll type stuff up if you like. Oh, Emily. You are a treasure. I'm so lucky to have you as my number two. That reminds me, how do you stand on dog dirt? Hello, stranger. Mrs Windsor, Emily. Hiya. Would you like a cup of coffee while you're here? If you drape yourself in the front door, you might attract more customers. Lads magazine's further up. Oh, it's uh, research for work. Mm. Sarah Sugden got you doing the shopping now, has she? If you were my lodger, I would treat you like a god. Richie's not living at the Sugdens anymore. How the hell do you know? I saw you come out of the little cottage last night. The one Roy and Kelly used to clean. I'm sorry, I just assumed... Well, maybe you shouldn't. How much is that? Five pounds, please. There you go. Sorry, Emily. Put the rest towards Butchie's plaque, yeah? Thanks, Richie. I've got enough now. So we're having housewarming. It's a bit small. Oh, I don't mind a squeeze. See? In the future, whatever that lad does in this village, I need to know. I bet he's got a woman in there. Why? Broadsheet paper, magazine. That's not like him. Research my eye. Who do you think it is? 
Well, it can't be Trisha Stokes, cos she's not beyond the bunty. I bet it's still someone young, slim and gorgeous. Yeah, but they'll be old, fat and wrinkly one day, so there is some justice in this world. I want bunches like Britney Spears. That was ages ago. So has it brushed now? It's more grown up. All right then. Hello. Hello, Andy. It's Mum. You liar! You lied to me. It was too much to expect you to take it in. Why couldn't you just left him? I tried. Have you told Jack what you know? I can't. He'll hate me. No, no, he won't. It's not your fault, Andy. None of this. I knew. If he turns against me, I'll have nobody. No, he won't. Can I speak to Victoria? No. We've told her you're staying at Cathy's because she's poorly. I need to see you all. I need to explain. Don't come wrong, Sarah. I'll get the blame for it. No, you won't. Is that Mum? Oh, somebody's selling something. Maybe Dad's got the wrong end of the stick. Maybe Richie's a mate and Mum's gone a bit off a rocker. What are you doing? Richie gave me these. I'm pretending they're his face. Stop it! You're not feeling sorry for him. Don't smash him, idiot. Go sell these at school. It's 30 quid's worth there. Where's your head gone? You're not half as thick as you look, are you? I missed him so much. I wish we had no told Jack. Don't say that. I can't help it. Oh, I hate myself now. Do you think it's Jack? No, it can't be. From the shop earlier. Look, she doesn't know you're here. I'll, I'll go out. No! Sarah, I've got to meet Chris Tate in half an hour. I'll get rid of her, all right? Richie, I've got a lovely bottle of bubbly. She's gone round the back. She's gone round the back. Quickly, hide. Richie, open the door. Oh, Sarah, she terrifies me. <laughs> I've actually got to get to work, but thanks for the bubbly. I'll, I'll, I'll take it with me. We need some more stuff in the freezer, Dad. We've already burned three pizzas. Sorry, Dad. Don't worry. <laughs> this looks lovely. Emily? Yes, Mrs. Windsor? There's something going on. Isn't that wishful thinking, cos we've been so quiet? Mark my words. There's a storm brewing. I can smell it. Why? Are you a cow? I am entitled to speculate, Emily. No, I mean, cows can smell storms coming. They're very intuitive creatures. I've been to a doctor. 
What's a dog do? Quack, quack. <laughs> Shall I tell it again? What if it's her? I don't want to see if it is. Andy, take Victoria upstairs. Who is it? It's the feed man. Do you want to see it? If it's your mum? I don't know. Robert! If she's got bags, yeah. Otherwise, no. Kids are upstairs. I didn't want to use my key. Well, it's a bit late to start getting all sensitive now. You can't stop me seeing them, Jack. I've asked them. They don't want to see you. You're lying! Yeah, well, you just have to trust me. Get off me, Jack! Feeling pleased with yourself, are you? How's Victoria? Well, how do you tell a six-year-old that her mother's copped off with the best-looking boy oh, in the school? That's right. Get your pathetic little jibes in. How long's it been going on? I haven't been marking the days off on a calendar. Where are you staying? Well, just in case there's an emergency, don't put yourself out. In the village! In the village. You're living with him, in our village. I didn't organise it. Richie organised the cottage. Robert's right. You are sick. Just give me five minutes to explain to them, Jack. As far as they're concerned, they don't have a mother anymore. Please don't turn them against me. Are you stupid? They don't want to see you. Come in and find out for yourself if you want. Please don't make them hate me. Stay away. Unless you're invited. Right? 